all right welcome to this module here on tree drawing I'm going to show you how to draw a tree and this first tree that we're going to draw I'm actually going to draw it with a charcoal pencil um, sometimes full when you're doing full trees like I'm going to do here it looks really really good with a charcoal pencil uh, you get all the dark textures uh, you get all the darkness that you need of the leaves and the uh, branches and everything so the first thing that we want to do here is we're going to take and you really want to try to define your trunk you know if you will um, you always want to start from the bottom and then work your way up and you really want to start out when you're doing it this way you really want to start out just drawing you know you know charcoal is going to be a little dark but you want to try to draw it you know as light as you can in the beginning and we're going to make this a fairly decent sized tree and one thing that you'll that you'll notice uh, trees are not always perfect the branches are not always equal they're not always in the same place you know they're most of the time they're just located in, in different places in different spots <clears throat> now when you first start drawing your trees and you start doing the little outline like we're doing here for the most part you know it's not going to really look that alive or that realistic but it will as you begin to define the tree so now that we basically have a trunk drawn and all I have is got the trunk of the tree here with a couple of little limbs that are offset uh, like I said they're not always even a lot, a lot of people try to draw trees too even try to get the branches right straight across from each other all the time and it kind of looks unnatural the best way to draw the actual uh, leaves of the tree we'll get into that in a minute but to get the basic outline of your tree that you want it's just always best to just draw a just a simple outline and you can kind of make a light wavy outline here little wavy curves and you know you just want to basically make a rough outline of the tree and right now we're not really putting anything into the tree just yet we're just kind of simply just drawing a simple outline of this tree and the little curvy lines that I'm making here that's actually going to be the foliage of the tree or the leaves and just like that and to me this is the best way to actually draw a, a tree especially realistic trees it's really a good way to draw them what you want to do after you have your outline you're going to actually be shading over this outline so this outline is going to actually disappear uh, and I'm using a medium uh, charcoal pencil by the way <clears throat> but what we're going to do is I always like to take uh, the little curves that I've made here I always like to take to just start going in a circle just kind of lightly shade it and while you're there at your lines that you created just go over your lines just a little bit and just make some little squiggly marks just kind of outside the line there because that's going to give you a simulation of, of some leaves now it can actually take you a while when you're drawing a tree especially one that's going to be a full tree like this one it, you know it can actually take you a little while to actually draw it but you always want to take your time when you are drawing anything especially whenever you're a, tempted to draw a portrait landscape something that you're going to want to keep and frame show off to your your friends your neighbors or sell to somebody or you, you just never know I mean you start drawing long enough then you'll get to the point to where people like your your drawings and your work and before you know it you know you how folks are asking you to draw things for them and you can actually draw draw things on commission for them you know make you a little money with it And at this point you want to go light but if you get a little bit dark you know it's really not going to be a big deal because we're going to purposely make things a little darker as we go on drawing this tree 
you can accidentally get something dark you'll be okay and all we're doing here is just textures we're just shading just shading with the charcoal pencil moving outside of the lines that we've drawn here this is what I said when we was going to get rid of these lines and kind of cover them up. This is how we're doing it, just by shading. <clears throat> so we got the out, outside of it shaded here. So what you want to do here, we want to, the dark areas that we're going to be getting, we're actually going to want to represent, you know, a lot of dark areas of this tree. If you want to, I normally don't do what I'm doing now, but you can actually go ahead and, and just kind of draw you some marks kind of in a, a half moon shape you can kind of go ahead and draw some marks if you want to where you think you might want your dark areas but you're just going to create these textures be real just be real loose with it and just kind of go from side to side purposely make some areas dark then let off of the pressure and then lighten up some more areas now one of the things that you want to try to do as well is and it's good to do it with this charcoal you really want to try to leave a little bit of space you really want to try to leave a little bit of a white space not a lot but just a little bit you just kind of move you can move in a circle I can move sideways I always switch it up I, I move up and down, I move sideways, I move in a half circle, and you know, it just makes really good textures just go in different directions this way. Sometimes you may even have to take a break if it kind of cramps your fingers. But trees just grow how they grow. I mean, there's no set standard for them. Uh, they just grow how they grow and when you're drawing in these dark edges these dark tones here or these dark values then you get a similar you know it just simulates how these trees are looks more realistic here because you you've, you've, you've got the darkness because when there are a lot of leaves and branches are bunched up and you got a lot of darkness now what I like doing to this point, once I get the center of it shaded like I have, I like to go back around the edges again. And I like to get just a little bit darker around the edges. Just kind of spread it out, you know, don't draw a, don't get it completely dark. Just kind of get some little spark, spots of it that's actually dark. You know, then just kind of skip around just a little bit with your dark values here. Because now that we're getting darker, we're actually putting more pressure and, and we're getting actually some darker tones here. The first shading you did that you thought was dark in the in the beginning because the charcoal was so dark, now you got this lightness here. So you just kind of skip around just a little bit. Just kind of get a little random with it, if you will. And you can just kind of skip around, you know, just like that. <clears throat> and you really don't have to do a whole lot more than that. You, but always remember, you don't want to get too dark. Leave some spaces that are, that's going to be some white spaces. And then you can drop down on your on your trunk and and just lightly shade. You want to always just start lightly shading on your trunk. I always teach my students to just start out when you start out drawing and shading. You know, I always just lightly shade everything to start with. And then after a few minutes, you can always go back over it with a darker shade. And that way you can darken the elements and the areas you want to darken. That way you had not got it too dark in the beginning. Now you can just kind of skip your tip of your pencil a little bit just on the trunk after you've shaded it in. And this right here will give you some good dark values mixed in with the lighter shades here that we've done and again there you don't really want to overdo that and, and your branches these are you know fairly small branches so you can just kind of shade them one color if you want to you can lighten them up if you 
I want to as well. And sometimes you're going to find find yourself if you're not working too much with just the tip of your pencil here, you might get out of your line of your branch a little bit. You can go in with a kneaded eraser and do it, uh, fix it and clean it up. Or if you want to, do what I'm doing here. I'm not even going to use the eraser. I'm just going to widen the branch a little bit where it cover where to cover my shade that I just created. And then once you get the tree drawn, you know, just make you some make you some ground here. Give it some representation here. And that's, you know, a, a basically a, a real good tree there. It's a full tree. Uh, it kind of reminds you of a, of a oak tree a little bit, you know, it's the fullness of it and the roundness of it. This is, these are nice looking trees when you're uh, doing landscape drawing. You can do a whole lot with these. These are absolutely the best, best tree that I love to draw. I love to draw full trees and we're going to do a part two to drawing trees here in just a minute. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to draw a bear tree. We've drawn a full tree here so I'm going to show you how to draw a bear tree which is not going to have nothing but the branches and you can always play around with those and throw a leaf on here and there. But stay tuned to the next video. Uh, practice these shading tips that you've learned here. Basically all we're going to do uh, for a recap and you can always rewind the video and watch it as often as you want. Just lightly draw the outlines of your trees just like I have done here. And as a matter of fact, you can just follow along and do this actual tree or get closest to it as you possibly can. And just once you have your outline drawn, just go to the edges of the outlines and just start shading them in. And then work your way to the center and shade the rest of the tree in. And then go in and put your little dark values, you know, just randomly. Just Go in and just randomly start adding your dark values, but be careful and, and, and not to overdo it. Uh, you can overdo it, but make sure you leave plenty of, of white space. And just kind of take your pencil and just go randomly. You can go side I, Going sideways is always best, but if you want to occasionally go up and down and then sideways, kind of mix it up, you know, it makes it look a whole lot better. But that's it for this drawing lesson and stay tuned for the bare trees that we're going to be drawing next in the next module.